Good morning, everyone. A good Erev Shabbos. Today's Bitochen message in Parshas Vayelech. It is the last day in the life of Moshe Rabbeinu. And he is giving over his final words, his charge to the Jewish people. And he gives over the mantle. He's passing over the torch of leadership to his faithful servant, Yahushua. And he tells Yahushua, it's not going to be easy. You're going to go take this nation into Eretz Yisrael. There will be battles you will have to fight. Not to mention Yahushua is very well aware of who this nation has been the 40 years of additional wandering in the desert because of their mistakes, the complaining which took place, the sinfulness which they were a part of, the Chet Egel, the Chet Maraglim, all the different things they did. Yahushua is very well aware of what he's getting himself into. And so Moshe Rabbeinu gives him the following words, Chizku ve'imtzu. And he tells him, be strong and be courageous. Al tiru, do not fear, ve'al ta'artzu, and you should not be afraid. Do not fear and do not be, or al ta'artzu, mivneim, do not be broken before them, before the enemies of who you're going into. Ki Hashem alaykechu ahoylech imach, because Hashem is the one that is going with you. La yarpecha v'la yazveka, HaKadosh Baruch will not let go of you, nor will He forsake you. Moshe Rabbeinu is telling Yahushua, I'm giving you the command of taking care of Klal Yisrael. I'm giving you the command of going into Eretz Yisrael, into the land of Israel, and you're going to take it over from the enemies that are there. And it's daunting, and it's a big task, and it looks like it might be frightening. However, you should know you have nothing at all to fear because HaKadosh Baruch Hu will not forsake you, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu is not going to let go of you. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is going to be with you the entire time. And if you will be strong in your amun and your bitachin in Hashem, the way that I was, says Moshe Rabbeinu, all the 40 years in the Midbar, as we know that when they went to fight against Amalek, so it says that Moshe Rabbeinu raised his hands, and when he raised his hands, they looked towards the heavens, and when they looked towards the heavens, they thought about HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And the message that our sages teach us is that it wasn't the great hands of Moshe Rabbeinu lifting in the air that was winning the wars or the battles. Rather, it was that Moshe Rabbeinu believed everything is coming from Hashem, and he needed Klal Yisrael to remember that it comes from Hashem. So he would lift his large hands in the air, and the Klal Yisrael would look up to his mighty hands, and from there they would end up looking into the heavens, into the heavens they would think about HaKadosh Baruch, and they would realize who's the one that's going to win the battles, not us. Not Moshe, not our armies, not our warrior, war tactics. It's all the Rebbein HaShelem. The only way that a Jew is going to survive in this world is when their imuna and their bitachin is going to be strong and solidified and powerful. And therefore he's telling you, Yeshua, you're going to be the next leader of Klal Yisrael. The most important ingredient that you need to have, it's not how well you can handle the crowds. It's not how well you know how to, be, how to micromanage or you can, you can give off other people to do things. That's not what's going to make you the great leader of Klal Yisrael. It's not because you're an expert warrior and therefore you know how to make battles and how to and make battle plans. No. That which is going to make you into the premier leader of Klal Yisrael and to give faith to yourself and chizuk to Klal Yisrael is because you will strengthen yourself and your amun and your bitachin and you will recognize will not let go, he will not release you, nor will HaKadosh Baruch Hu forsake you. And a person who walks around and lives like that, they understand that I'm always in the embrace and the watchful glance of Hashem. And this is also to keep in mind during these days of Yom Kippur. On Yom Kippur, we're standing, our life is in a balance. HaKadosh Baruch has not made the final decision. Mi Yechia who will live and who will die. He's looking for a schus, for a merit that we have. Can we tip the scale? Can we tip the scale? Can we tip the scale? And the answer is yes. If you believe in HaKadosh Baruch Hu, strengthen yourself in your amun and your bitachin, and you know that HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants you to be victorious, you will win, and you will tip the scales in your favor, and you will be zeichet to the Shana Toivim Mesukra for the good and sweet year that we have been davening for, and asking for, and learning about, and getting ourselves ready for. And Be'ez HaShem, 
as we, Hashem awards us in His mercy with another year of life, we dedicate ourselves to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that we promise you, Hashem, from the bottom of our hearts, that we are going to try every day to infuse into our minds, our hearts, and our souls a little bit more amuna and a little bit more bitachin so that we can live together with you in every step that we take in this world. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful Shabbos.